Here are 10 simple ways to cope with stress daily. Number 1. Eat healthy and well-balanced meals. Foods affect our moods and eating healthily can improve this. Ensure that you eat foods that provide adequate amounts of essential brain nutrients. These should include vitamins and minerals, as well as 6 to 8 glasses of water daily. Try to reduce or totally discontinue drinking alcohol and smoking tobacco. These harmful substances may relieve tension at first, but often caused serious damages. Number 2. Exercise regularly. Exercises should be integrated regularly in your lifestyle, as it can relieve stress. 20 to 30 minutes of physical activity benefit the body and mind. Easy physical exercise, such as walking, can be helpful. 20 minutes walk daily can make a big difference. All movements of the body regularly improve the nervous system and increase blood circulation. Exercise removes stress hormones from the body in no time. Try also swimming, dancing, or cycling. Number 3. Get some sleep and rest as well. It is very important to get adequate rest or sleep so that your body has time to repair itself. Lack of sleep causes serious damages to the brain and body. 7 to 8 hours of sleep is recommended daily. Give yourself time to relax before falling asleep. Turn off bright lights, listen to soothing music, relax your mind and body before going to bed. Number 4. Practice meditation and relaxation. These activities can take many forms. Just perform exercises that uses the same movements repeatedly. Relaxation techniques activate the body's ability to counter infections by releasing special hormones. Deep, relaxed breathing relieves stress and help the body get plenty oxygen. It also stimulates the body's relaxation response. Number 5. Create a balanced schedule between both work and home. Try to improve the balance between work and family life, social activities and daily responsibilities. Work-family balance involves equal engagement at both work and home. Achieving work-life balance can be a very complicated process. You may need to find a job that is not demanding. Even if you have a large family, you can make changes that will help you achieve balance between work and family. You may require more flexible work hours or reorganizing the responsibilities at home. By making wise decision on the most important matter you will be able to make it through. Number 6. Socializing with supportive people. If things are going wrong, talking about them can lower stress. A clergyman, a friend, family members, or a therapist can help manage problems affecting you. Socializing enables a person to relax. Socializing diminishes loneliness and provides a sense of security and safety. Having good social skills is the main reason for promoting low level of stress. The main goal of socialization is to teach impulse control and develop conscience in you. Number 7. Identify and distance yourself from the source of stress. You may even change the source. According to experts, coping with stress is a process not an event. Use the most appropriate coping strategies that fits the situation. Work-related stressors usually require more problem-solving strategies. Stressors at home are easier to control. The key approach is to identify the stressors and apply the appropriate solution. Unchangeable stressors usually require social support. Number 8. Avoid reading, listening, or watching disturbing news stories on social media. Being constantly bombarded with stories of traumatic events can be very upsetting. Try to keep away from TV, cell phone, and newspapers for a while. Always prepare for events and news you know will cause stress, such as reports of disasters and deaths. Don't worry about the things you cannot control. Have courage to change what you can, and wisdom to accept what you can't. Number 9. Commence a stress journal. This will help you to identify the stress factors in your life. 
Each time you feel stressed, you record the causes and your responses in your journal. Over time, common patterns and themes begin to emerge. Your journal will record three bits of information. First, it will display how you felt, both physically and emotionally. Second, it will show how you reacted. And, third, it will give a description of what you did in order to feel better. Number 10. Seek professional help. If you are unable to cope with the daily stressful routine, it is okay to solicit help from a licensed mental health professional, such as a psychologist or a psychiatrist who can provide the treatment you require. You may talk to people you trust, a psychiatric nurse, a social worker, or a personal physician, to give you a referral. Alternatively, you can search online through local and national mental associations for advice, counseling, or treatment. 